Next event on the track, 3,000 meter steeplechase. Courtney Wayman has the collegiate record as well as the meet record. And from California Baptist, there is Greta Karanaskaita, the junior from Lithuania. We also have two athletes from Oregon State, including Kaylee Mitchell, who you just saw. Her teammate, Grace Featherstona, is in there just two spots away from her. They're safely over that first barrier. And we'll see what type of a pace we get. I remember on uh, Thursday for semifinals, one was a very good and honest pace, and the other one was a jog fest for the first couple of laps. Well, you kind of saw Greta Karina Skyta get a little anxious there, trying to navigate through the traffic. She likes to get out of the way and burst up to the front. And in talking with a number of the coaches with athletes in this field, they said that this qualifying heat that you mentioned, Dwight, was much different than what we saw for the 15 and the 800. It was pretty conservative. The field in qualifying was able to separate the top five pretty early on, and no one really had to go into a deficit. So we are seeing a lot of athletes relatively fresh or as fresh as you can be when you just ran another steeplechase two days ago. That's Olivia Markezic from Notre Dame on the shoulder of Karina Skyta of CBU. Karina Skyta caught a lot of attention coming out of the NCAA regional meet. She dropped a massive PR in that competition running 9.26.88. That made her the collegiate leader. That was a PR by nearly 10 seconds. So I'm watching how many of the runners really chop badly to make these barriers in the water jump, which I know takes a lot of energy out of them. I want to welcome all of our folks uh, on ESPN2 who just saw an amazing Texas Longhorn comeback in the regional baseball game. This is the women's steeplechase, the 3,000 meter steeplechase at the NCAA Track and Field Championships. We're in the third lap, and that is junior Greta Karina Skaita from California Baptist in Lithuania. John Anderson, Dan O'Brien, Lara Overton, Robert Griffin III, and Dwight Stones, your hosts, play by play for the championships. We're glad that you were able to join us. So, Larry, you mentioned that Greta Karinaskaite is the collegiate leader, and it seems that she's trying to put the pedal to the metal to the field right from the start. Do you think that was her strategy coming in, or you had a chance to talk to the coaches to figure out what she was going to try to do? Well, no question. That's certainly the way that she prefers to run. We have seen her run this way previously over the course of the outdoor season. Her coach, Adam Tribble, said that she's just a ferocious competitor. Her ability to dig is what is really special about her, and she's just not afraid. She runs fearlessly, and Olivia Markezic doing a great job hanging in there with her as well. She was the top qualifier from Thursday's prelims. All right, they're on 917 pace with a little less than five laps remaining. And I'm keeping an eye on the fact that those are wind-aided marks, which means the wind is, as we already knew, blowing quite a bit more than it has the last three days, which will affect records in the sprint uh, races and hurdle races. But there's nothing we can do about that. It's a, it's a fact, and it certainly, Laura, affects the athletes in this event as well. No question. That was an 81.1 second last 400. They are on 922 pace, which would be a significant PR if Greta Karina Skaita and Olivia Markezic continue the pace that they are on right now. And with Karina Skaita, it's been a long build to get to this point in the NCAA championship season. Her coach, Adam Tribble, said that they didn't have the cross-country season that they really wanted, but they really benefited from a huge winter build. CBU does not have an indoor track competition season, so they instead used that time to build ahead with sights set on this NCAA steeple final. And coming in, this looked like probably the most wide open event in terms of the number of athletes who are returning from last year's final. You have two athletes from New Mexico and two athletes from Oregon State who are incredible competitors. I'm impressed by the fact that Karen Escaita just has so much pop when she takes off to clear the barriers and the water jump. She has great technique, which allows her to really focus on what she needs to do in between the barriers 
This is uh, California Baptist University's first year competing at the Division I level. And she is putting them on the map here in this steeplechase. It is slowed now to 926 pace, but of course we all know in championships, not the result. It is the placing. About a second slower on that last 400, and here's where Markezic needs to try and stay attached as best as possible as she can. Otherwise, she is going to get swallowed up by that big pack behind her, including Kaylee Mitchell of Oregon State. Elise Thorner, the fantastic steepler from New Mexico, is up there as well. But in talking to Notre Dame coach Matt Sparks, he said that Olivia can really benefit from this water jump because when you have the outside water jump, you get the advantage of this really long straightaway. So for those who have good closing speed, they can use that to start to reel in competition or to build toward the start finish line. Yeah, it's not the severe left turn that you get when you've got an inside water jump. It just makes each lap a little bit longer. But Karina Karanaskada, she has been in the lead from the beginning. She burst out from the starting gun to stay out of trouble because that first barrier comes up so quickly. And she has never given up that lead, and she's got a nice gap that has developed between her and Markezic of about 15 meters, and it has not closed for about a lap and a half. That is another 82-second 400. The second group, that chase pack, is about two seconds behind, and that is a packed group right there. That group is all trying to work together to get as close as they can, and what might be most impressive, not just the way Karina Skyta is running this race, but the fact that she does not seem to waver or show any signs of fatigue, even when she is taking the barriers and taking the water jump. Let's see how she gets over this one with just over a lap to go. Just watch the way she just pops off the top and boom, losing no momentum whatsoever. Markezic had to ch chop a little bit. It's it's similar to what we saw from Kenneth Rooks of BYU in last night's men's steeplechase final, the way he utilized, really well utilized, the water barrier and his athleticism to bound over it and through it. Guys, what's in the water over there in Lithuania? Karina Skaita is trying to baptize this field right now. And she did get great experience last year. Karina Skaita was able to compete in the European Champs last summer. Robert, her sights are set on appearing in the World Championships, so she is gunning to make a big performance here to project her to that opportunity. Marquez is just trying to close that gap, though. She's in her sprint, but I think that Karina Skaita has an answer. And she's just a better technician, but here, look at this. Here's some momentum, and here's a big pass. Now let's see the reaction. Let's see if she covers it. So far, no. But look at, she's chopping so much before the barriers. That could end up making the difference if Karen Eskaita can mount some type of response but it doesn't look like she has it she's used so much energy pushing the pace from out in front and this is the point where matt sparks really wanted olivia markezic to utilize her athleticism felt like she could use the water barrier and then utilize this long closing straightaway to her advantage Olivia markezic was the acc champion at the steeplechase leading a sweep for the Irish, and she is now going to be your NCAA steeplechase champion. That was a great few laps where she just sort of rested herself back there, dialed it back a bit, and then mounted that finishing kick from about 400 meters out. It's only the second title in, no in the Notre Dame women's outdoor history in any event. And it is a 10 second PR. She ran her previous career best at last year's NCAA championships in which she was ninth in that final.